Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. Well, some brightening of the sky in the last couple of hours, but still holding on to more in the way of extra clouds along the coastline. Now, we know that the humidity is high, and the one thing you need to keep in mind when you, when, when you have high humidity uh, and tracking bugs on the camera lens is that uh, along the beaches, that humidity condenses each late night and early morning to fog. So if you have beach plans this weekend, you'll have to be patient because each morning, both Saturday and Sunday, it'll kind of be socked in with uh, low clouds and fog. And in some cases, it takes until about 12 noon for that to burn off. So you want to check our web camera down in Narragansett, this one on our website before you head out the house to see just how rapidly the fog is burning off. In the meantime, temperatures in the mid 70s, including 75 in Providence, it feels warmer with that humidity and a warming trend for this weekend. Not to say that tomorrow is excessively warm. In fact, it's close to average around 80, but warmer by Sunday, mid 80s. And look at that. We are pushing 90 degrees next week. In fact, heat wave potential. We're looking at the Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday time frame. All three of those days, 90 or higher. In the meantime, the humidity sticks around this weekend, both Saturday and Sunday and even into next week as well. The clouds have been thinning out the last couple of hours, but they still linger along the south shore. A little area of low pressure that gave us a couple of showers earlier this morning is now lifting away and not anticipating any showers for this evening and overnight. In fact, this batch of rain across the Great Lakes will actually stay to our north overnight into tomorrow. It'll mainly impact the northern New England and upstate New York. So we take a look at the forecast for tomorrow morning and that's probably the cloudiest part of the day would be during the morning, especially early on some areas of fog early, especially along the south shore, very humid. That's it about a 5% chance of maybe a couple of sprinkles along the coastline early in the morning. It'll thin to hazy sun by late morning and early afternoon. And here's the trend for the afternoon hours on Saturday, looking at temperatures that generally low to mid 70s inland, getting closer to 80 though. Uh, further inland in the upper 70s to lower 80s. I don't think it's complete clearing where you've got a deep blue crystal clear sky, but more of a uh, kind of a cloud hazy sun mixture. But we think enough of this filtered sunshine to get through the cloud cover to be warming things up nicely into the lower 80s. Same situation across southeastern Massachusetts, lower 80s inland and more like the mid to upper 70s as you get closer uh, to the coastline. Here's a more detailed look at the hour by hour forecast showing the fog early in the morning. Temperatures recovering to the lower 80s inland and about 10 degrees cooler along the coastline. All right, Bay forecast has a south breeze at 10 to 15, gust to 20 knots, and the visibility is poor early in the morning, improving to about two to three, two to four miles in haze uh, during the afternoon hours. And the beaches, be patient, really both Saturday and Sunday, both days feature fog in the morning, especially early, thinning to hazy sunshine during the afternoon and evening hours. Air temperature tomorrow at the beach is 73, Water temps getting up there now. It's in the upper 60s. All right, seven day forecast uh, becoming partly sunny, warmer, more humid on Sunday with a high temperature around 85. Here comes the heat Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. I mean, even Thursday, it's in the upper 80s. All three of those days, Monday through Wednesday, temperatures approaching the uh, lower 90s along with uh, high humidity. There could actually be some heat advisories, uh, Kim and Shannon, for some areas early next week. So stay tuned. And when you build that kind of heat and humidity, you sometimes run the risk of thunder. That may occur towards the end of next week. Time to get those ACs cranking again. Oh, yeah. All right. They had a nice break, though. Tony, <laughs> thanks. More coverage.